ever get old hearing that, Seth? No, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I like that still. That's the first time I've heard the still WWE World still. Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. First title defense at Extreme Rules last Sunday. Not too bad. Seth Rollins in the studio with us. It's Dwyer and Michaels. 25 years ago, when you're in the area setting up uh, wrestling matches on a trampoline in your backyard, <laughs> putting up posters on the telephone poles, leading up to this night, fair to say, in your hometown to be the world champion. Yeah, man. I would ask, did you ever anticipate this or see this coming? And I I would say the cliched answer would be yes, you were planning on it. But in reality? Well, is that the cliched? I feel like the cliched answer is the other one. Like, no, you know, not in my wildest dreams. I just wanted to be humble and successful right. and moderately decent at this but no i i i feel i feel like the the kind of jerk answer but the, <laughs> the, but, the but the real one is yeah i did i mean i this is what i always wanted to you, do you know you what i mean always wanted it. yeah when i was waiting okay. outside of the uh i wireless center to get tickets to smackdown and watch you know rob van dam do a frog splash when i was like 17 <laughs> Uh, I was always hoping that I would be able to come back and some little kid would be waiting for tickets at the you know, iWireless Center for me when I'm the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. So, yeah, kind of. I, I did expect this, or at least hoped for it anyway. And were you the kid in the front row screaming at him going, I'm going to have your job someday? You're like Syndrome in The, in the Incredibles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, really? I, I, okay. mean, I was pretty intense. Yeah, I mean, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I was going to ha- take his job from him, but I certainly would love to have wrestled Rob Van Dam, which I have done a couple of times too. That's pretty awesome as well.